Hi, you guys. I want to tell you about some new books I'm writing, working on. They point to Jesus, as most of them do now. Um, I'm trying to break this addiction problem that we have that also has a lot of depression, anxiety, and resentments that are also involved in it. And the way I'm doing this is I'm tying together the 12 steps and cognitive behavior therapy to uh, marry the two together to get to some solution that point to Jesus. Now, let me tell you how that happens. Uh, the 12 steps were actually started by a guy named Dr. Frank Buckman, who was a missionary and he experienced a spiritual transformation when he saw the face of Jesus Christ and saw that his resentments and his anger blocked himself off from God. And then he started the Oxford group, which is a Christian church group. They had four absolutes and they based their teachings off of the Sermon on the Mount by Jesus Christ. And what they believed was the sharing of struggles between one to another, the surrender to God, past, present, and future, to making amends, and to seeking guidance. The group was dedicated to the pursuit of personal change and giving testimony and making disciples of one another. And they believe the age of miracles is back. Now that's where the 12 steps originated from, from that. So um, people don't know that, um, they, they know it now. Um, I'm a miracle. My early childhood resembled uh, that movie and that song I can only imagine. Um, I ran away at about 11, 12 years old um, and probably sold a thousand pounds of marijuana by the time I was 18. Um, I got into trafficking a lot heavier than that. And uh, in the mid 90s, I was facing the building blocks for organized crime charges. In prison, I was no better. I was still living on anger and resentments and that what happened to me was not fair. And I was angry about it. And uh, I was a shot caller of uh, prison on the border of Mexico for three and a half years where prison guards gave us paperwork on a notorious child molester. And having the yard, that put a heavy burden on me. Um, if, I wouldn't, if I didn't deal with it properly, I'd have been in trouble. So the guy got cut up from here to here and here. And I wrote books about that and we're doing a documentary on it. Um, during that period, I started writing books. Um, God started impressing on me to start writing, which I thought was a total joke. There's no way I can write. I have ADHD. I didn't finish high school. I'd throw down books because I couldn't remember anything. I couldn't keep my concentration on it. Well, um, a letter came to my cell to a guy who used to live there, and it was from uh, a pastor, and I opened it up, and it was how to write books. And this was after I gave up on writing, after writing for about a year. And so I continued to write. And um, when I got out, I published about 10 books on the drug war and prison life, um, which leads me to cognitive behavior therapy. Um, Aaron Beck, a psychiatrist, started it to help people with relationship problems over irrational, faulty thought patterns that include jumping to conclusions, all or nothing thinking, minimizing or magnifying, fallacy of fairness, which I fall into the trap of. It's not fair. Blaming, emotional reasoning, feelings do not equal facts and shoulds. Now, what I'm doing now with my writing is I'm taking those irrational thought patterns, which I believe come from the devil, and I am showing you how in the steps you can visualize where your thoughts are off by free writing. And at that point, I'm going to take biblical truths from God in the Bible verses, and I'm going to apply them to your irrational thinking so that you have um, more rational thinking that comes from God about who you are. So that's what I'm up to. Um, thank you for letting me share that with you.